We are going live here. Welcome everyone. I'm here live with the wonderful singer, vocal coach, business coach, Carrie Griffiths, based in London, in England. And you're very welcome, Carrie. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, we're so excited to be doing the summit together, aren't we? Oh, gosh, so excited about it. it's going to be awesome. So many amazing practitioners and coaches and uh, therapists and all that, all that great stuff. It's so excited, so diverse. All of the speakers are so diverse. I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't ever seen or heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's really I, I, I was just inspired, you know, because so many I was meeting so many people who seem to be using voice or vocal work or you know, singing in different ways that weren't typical, you know, to what you might think of as a vocal coach or a singing teacher. Um, and I think it probably happens a lot more than we realize that your singing coach, your vocal coach also becomes almost like a life coach. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because singing brings up so much emotion and it causes so much emotion as well. You know, we, we can we can use it to convey emotion and also to lift emotions but if we're you know if we're singing and we don't feel like we're very you're a very good singer then also that can be quite challenging and limiting as well so just freeing your voice just opens up so many other things to do as you say you know you do do become a life coach for sure you know because then then you're helping that person get through whatever's triggered this emotion to help them sing that song or that the songs brought up for them or that freeing themselves is brought up. There's so much going on. Definitely. And it isn't just for people who perform, you know, I think it, it, that might be a misconception when people see the summit. What do you think, you know, how do you feel the kind of work that you do with singers or people who like to sing? Because I mean, even I would have said, oh, um, uh, I like to sing. I would never have called myself a singer anyway, but I know a lot of people, they would be, they wouldn't be that interested in performing or anything probably, but they like singing at home. Um, what would be the benefits for someone like that? Uh, well, goodness me so much, because when, when we use our voice in, in any way, we're, we're, well, we're using our throat chakra right which is the chakra for communication and so yeah. it helps us to to be able to communicate it helps bonding with others um which is something i'm going to be talking about in the summit as well but also you know if you're just singing at home it lifts actually raises your serotonin your dopamine levels um and it helps you to breathe as, as well. So a lot of people think that, you know, well, I can't I can't breathe when I sing. Well, actually, if you just let it happen and you don't think about it, just let it happen. It actually improves your breath control and your breathing. And and I've got asthma and I know lots and lots of singers who do have asthma. And it does actually, it really helps with those kind of lung diseases and a lot, you know, um, and also just, just to put a smile on your face. Even if you're just having a down day, just singing just puts a smile on your face. Even even if you're not singing words, you can just be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or not my mum sings nonsense songs, right? She's always my mum has always sung nonsense songs since I was little, right? She'll be singing, I'm vacuuming the carpet. Isn't it a nice day? You know, that kind of nonsense. I love it. Just it right ends the day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I have to admit, I do stuff like that myself. Um, and you know music in itself is just so so uplifting and um there was something popping into my mind but now that that thing is seems to have disappeared but we we all i think sing a lot more as children what do you think the you know as we get older that the block that comes up what what is that it's usually people telling us we're no good and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're if you if you don't sing the way that they want. They think you should be singing. You know, it doesn't. Just let it out. I I love hearing kids sing on the bus. You know, they, they could be singing. I I'm looking at my shoes, or my shoes have stars on. You know, like, I just love <laughs> hearing that. And you'll find that kids usually sing more in tune. I mean, we're not that we're not talking about being able to sing in tune, but most kids can. And as we get older, we're told, don't be so loud, stop screaming, calm down, just stop showing off. That's a big one. Stop. I was always told that when I was little, stop showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that didn't change anything. But, you know, and it, then we lose confidence. It's just it's just the confidence goes and the, the self-belief goes. And with that, our voice, it feels like our voice is going, but it's always there. It's, you know, it's all it doesn't doesn't leave. An, obviously, if you have actual 
voice issues. But if you can speak and you don't have voice issues, your singing voice is always there. And it doesn't, as I say, it doesn't have to be songs, it doesn't have to be words, it can be humming or anything. Do you think then that some of some people who are working and in business or in, in professional situations that find it hard to speak up and express themselves, that it may be because of something related to something that they did or sang as a child? Yeah, possibly. I've had a lot, I've had a lot of clients in that situation they loved doing whatever it was they were doing when they were a kid and someone said to them oh my god stop singing or something like that and all everything they 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 can't even get their words out of their head onto paper never mind through their voice because it's just closed everything it's closed and it's like the world closes because if you can't if you can't speak your truth what you know what where where are you in the world and so by allowing people to use their voice in any way then it opens them up so it opens you up when you start using your own voice whether it's on paper or you know literally you know speaking yeah. or singing and yeah I, I've, I've worked with a lot of people who wanted to just be able to speak up in a meeting and so by using singing they've gained confidence and found their voice and then been able to go out and use it and it's boosted their career and and you know they've got promotions and gotten more clients and all that kind of great stuff you know it's so it's so true it's so interesting how someone will maybe decide to go for a singing lesson because they want confidence in work you know because i've had that happen as well and the first the, the person who came to me was changing jobs and was going to be working with um teens that had you know kind of development they were kind of developmentally kind of challenged and they were being very supported in in their kind of late teens 20s and they can be handful to to manage you know I mean they're full of full of beans and full of excitement and she came to me and said that's why I'm coming to you Aideen and I she said I don't want to go to some stuffy you know speaking yeah. coach I don't feel like going to you know Toastmasters and trying to come up with speeches and things um so it, I I knew that by coming to you Aideen that I would gain the confidence that I needed to be able to do that job um and I think that that's something that I'd like more people to maybe understand because not only are you um gaining that extra confidence in yourself and in your voice but you can actually have a lot more fun on that journey than kind of doing something in a more stuffy way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Toastmasters is great, but if it's not for everyone. And yeah, as you say, by make it, making it fun, we, we make silly noises and silly faces all day long. Literally, my job is to, I'm, it's probably the same for you, my job is to just make silly noises all day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and and it, it, breaks, it breaks the ice, it breaks the ice for yourself and it just helps you to be a lot more free in your, in your life. And if you're, if you're more free in your personal life, then that's going to translate into your working life as well. Because, yeah. we're you know, we, we see, we tend to see our working lives and our personal lives in two different spheres. I personally don't. It, it's all the same thing for me because I love what I do so much. I, everything that I do and that I love from work comes into my personal life and everything from my personal life that I love goes into my work as well. Mm. And so, and why shouldn't it? You know, I know we're, we're, we're always talking about, um, you know, you and I and other, other voice workers that we know, we're always talking about making making it fun and making it accessible to everyone in every way. And, uh, you know, that's what hopefully we'll be doing with this summit. Definitely. And I, I know a lot of I've, like, and some of my my clients have been people that, like they're solo entrepreneurs or they have small businesses and um, they might come to me initially because they want to take up singing as a hobby and they've started to you claw back some time for themselves in their lives and they're like, oh, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. But then I might talk to them about presentation skills, about, you know, posture for standing on a stage. I might work with them on vocal exercises to do in the morning, which I probably should have done more of this morning myself, because when we speak, our voices actually really benefit from the same kind of exercises that um, we do uh, if we're singing. Absolutely. And something that a lot of people don't know is that we judge much more on our voices than than a lot of other things. So obviously, we're, 
image is is one thing but visual image is one thing but if you're on the phone even you know or if, or if you're on a zoom call and you're and you're um you don't have a camera on you know people are going to judge you based on how you sound do you sound authoritative or do you sound approachable do you sound friendly do you sound like you know what you're talking about and even just the the tone of your voice can convey that whether it's true or not whether the perception is true our voices do that and just by being able to um use your voice confidently it it generates um it improves a perception for the other person of how you are at your job whether that's right or wrong that's just a fact yes and we were talking you know in some of the the um when we we're promoting the event we were talking about vibration you know and how you know when we say oh you know i get a good vibe from them or you that we tune into energetically sometimes and you know when you kind of know oh i like them or oh i'm not sure about them that's all very subtle cues that are actually creating that that um that perception it's not necessarily yeah something very very obvious and i think our voices are like i can hear in my voice now that my voice doesn't sound warmed up it's like uh, because i i kind of rolled out of bed and i was like it's earlier here here um but when we um when we have that full range of our voice available to us and mm -hmm. um, we speak then on that on different levels and different pitches and we when we understand i think dynamics I think dynamics and for people who don't know it's a common for a term we use in singing and it just means loud and soft yeah and and i think that's something that you start to control um when you start using your voice um in this in this, in singing and i think those things and pausing like even that you know pausing and you know not not rushing through a song and taking your time uh there's just so much that is transferable into your speaking voice and into your into your life in other areas or into your business yeah i, I totally agree absolutely but uh, as you said earlier it's something that we we do all the time as as voice practitioners and coaches we're we're always um changing the tone of our voices or the the, the delivery so the the way that we deliver one song uh, isn't the same way that we deliver another song or even we could sing the same song in, in different genres and and it will sound completely different and it's the same when you speak when you're speaking to an adult on a professional level of course we're going to speak differently to that person than we do to a five-year-old child yes <laughs> and a lot of people work with five-year-old children right yes. <laughs> so you know for some people you know especially if you're working in a school or a nursery or some that kind of organization you know you're you're from second to second you're playing with the kids or you're teaching the kids and then you're on, on a professional conversation straight away yes and, and being able being able to have that transfer transference most people everyone kind of does it naturally anyway but by by knowing how to change it on a different situation if you're going into a meeting for example and you're not used to meetings mm -hmm. that's when um that's when what you learn through singing or chanting or humming or whatever it is that's when that comes into play and it becomes more natural the more that you do it Definitely. And then what we mentioned earlier as well is that self-belief part. Okay. And I think that using the voice kind of deepens your own self-awareness or something as well. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of start to gain a bit of self-belief. And that is the undercurrent. Like it's not just how we sound, but the way we sound comes from that. Do we have self-belief? Do we accept our our voices um do we are we being yeah, authentic even that's the, that's the thing it comes down to yeah being being yourself and being authentic and you know what does that mean some a lot of us don't even know what that means you know so if you like if you like yourself when you're in a room by yourself doing whatever it is you do and then you take that out into the world then you're being authentic but if there's something that you're not quite sure about and you're trying to hide it or you're trying to mask it, or you're taking it out into the world and you're not sure how to change it, that's when you're not being yourself. But as you say, you know, self-awareness self, self -awareness 
um, is a really big thing because we, we, you know, we're breathing all the time and we, we get to notice the way that our body works. We, and the other thing is we start to appreciate our bodies a lot more because we, we realize how much work our body does for us because we can take it for granted because it's just there all the time unless, you know, unless something happens and we get an injury. I mean, I know for myself, um, a lot of people may or may not relate to this, but when I became a professor, I was singing, um, singing for about 12 years before I actually became professional and and did all the things that I've done and toured the world and got my number one album but when I was going through that process of being signed and go, getting having bigger performances and stuff I was actually coming out of a very abusive relationship and I had lost my self-worth but being able to get out there with other with other people and give you know and and enjoy life with them actually helped me to get through that um that horrible situation and it can and that's what your voice can do whether you're a good singer or whether you can remember the words or not who cares you know <laughs> just just let it out and it's it's gonna it's gonna lift you yeah that i really i love that story because i just feel that transformational moment it's like that heartache and i've definitely given up singing when I've had heartache. So I think that there's that healing element. Yeah. But before we finish up, I know that you do help people with marketing. And I, I think, yeah. So how do you think, like, can you kind of get your marketing unstuck through the voice? What is the the connection there? Like, how do you feel that, that relevance? Wow, that's a really good question. Again, it comes down to authenticity because marketing is just about telling people how you can help them. That's all it is. Um, put very simply right yeah <laughs> but once once you're being real with yourself once you're able to sit with yourself and you're comfortable with yourself and you know your self-worth you can convey your worth to other people mm. yeah that's put very simply <laughs> yeah yeah beautiful yeah and it is it's that presence and um just that self-belief i suppose having that undercurrent of self-belief and clarity as well because i know you help people find clarity in that through your coaching oh i'm so excited and it doesn't it doesn't always come quickly as well that's the thing to remember things give yourself time you know you've got to give yourself time in whatever it is you're doing yeah that is so true for singing i mean i think a lot of people think oh i'm going to take four lessons and i'll be amazing but the journey is so uh it's so rewarding, I would say, you know, and and I think you, you do have to have a, um, a little bit of an interest in in voice or sometimes you have an instinct. I, that's what I need. You know, there's kind of that feeling, oh, I'm a bit scared of doing that, but I know that would make the difference. So I think, you know, trust yourselves if you're wa watching or listening and um, we would love to see you at the summit. And I'm putting the registration link here below. I can't wait to hear Carrie's uh, talk. What, what What is your title again? What's your talk? how oh goodness i don't have it <laughs> <laughs> i know it's well-being yeah it's um how oh, yes how singing um boosts your well-being and um and business that's it, that's it. Times, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> how singing how singing ele elevates your well-being and boosts business we got there that. you go yes <laughs> and it goes to show you there that, that when i when i hear that title i can hear the marketing expertise there using you know words like elevates and boosts you know so um yeah so i have to say i do um have um some one-to-one -one time with carrie myself today because she actually helps me with my my business a little bit and so i can definitely personally recommend your coaching um i would love if anybody listening has any questions or comments please put them below we'd love to see you there live it's a free event um and we do have some uh, special gifts if you decide to upgrade to the vip offer but we would love to see you there ask your questions and join us